How you doing, Wingy? How? Danny. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. What are you up to? Oh, yeah, a gourmet treat this morning of <laughs> granola mix, oh, really? fresh bread, Ooh. porridge. Nice. Morning gruel. Oh, this porridge looks delicious. Nice angle here. Yeah. That's true. Leaning a bit. So what you're hiding in the galley today. Um, well, I'm on Mother Judy, yeah. Mother Judy, 24 hours uh, of excitement. Yeah. Well, uh, when we finish this, I think I go straight on to shift, but I've had the pleasure of having nearly seven hours sleep, which is really nice. Yeah, enjoyed it? Yeah, oh, fantastic, yeah. <laughs> and it's a little bit smoother today. Yeah. Um, while everything is at 45 degree angle, we're not, bump we're not bumping out around as much, and uh, the sun is coming up. Yeah, it looks like a nice day. Happy to be here, even if it's cold? Yeah, happy to be in front, happy to be, you know. In front of what? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're in front ish, but yeah. yeah we're no. parallel, let's say. Yes, I'm just going to put on my lovely wet foilies. You'll see, it's lovely weather outside. A little bit cold. Maybe you put an extra layer. Or two. Should just be more coffee going in. Is it that cold? Morning! Hey, bro. It's a little bit cold. Is it? <laughs> when you say it's a little bit cold, I worry. So that's another tier in our spinnaker. Hopefully it's on the seam and we catch it in time so it's not oh sweet. Yes. Can I have a sweep? <laughs> Thank you. Oh the best ones. We're lucky. We're very, very lucky. Very lucky. Why were we lucky? Because instead of having a 90 foot rip, we have a two foot rip. And we're still and we're still in front. Yeah. Jerome spotted the, the reef just in time, so we dropped the kite right after the reef happened because it was a flogging. Because maybe we should not have been throwing that kite at that moment. But uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Well, I don't know. Well, no. We have to fix the kite and we have to carry the heaviest sewing machine in the world from here to over there without tripping on people's sleeping. Yeah. Um, so should I leave it here for now? Yeah. Thinking about putting a patch? No, just tip on, tip on both sides and then stitch the edge. Yeah. And then stitch. But this doesn't get more Maybe I'm out the size of this tape yeah. on this and just a round one on both ends. Obvious. Skinny one and a, yeah, a, a round one to stop the um, 
to stop this from opening more and then just uh, you know we have up the size of this one. Oh, this this will find it we have more over there yeah i'll find it for you so jerome spinner case fixed it is fixed but if you fix sales faster than we break them that's an incentive right no, nothing. <laughs> don't break still holds. Don't break of the... Oh, that's a beautiful repair. Oh, really nice. Ta-da, ready to go. Good job. All right, that let's might... get this ring. <laughs> Everyone is always surprised when I tell them that sailing sucks. But it's true. Most of the time, sailing sucks. It's wet, it's uncomfortable, you're tired, exhausted, cold, hungry, too warm, smelly. But then, there is that sunset, or that sunrise, that glance of an albatross gliding above the crest of a wave, that surf, that silence, that crispy night with so many stars you can't believe there are so many. These moments of perfection, they make all the pain, all the self-torture worth it. This is why I sail. Long Bay, Vietnam. We are 42 or 43 south, somewhere in the Southern Ocean. And we have a front it's coming later today. And I came here to do a quick check, make sure everything is okay before the shit hits the fan. Yeah, we have a big school over there. Big school over there. And here I am, 100 meters above the water. I knew you call this from where you come from. This is good weather, no? This is springtime. Beautiful. <laughs> it's snowing. And it's more solid than snow. It's a... What? It's hail. hail. Yeah. Ice cube falling from the sky. But the good news is it's just a five minute call. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, every time there is a school, uh, we monitor it on radar and we have everyone on deck ready to uh, take a reef or to if necessary or drop a head tail. So yeah. Ooh, lots of hard beam.
getting a secondary front or something like this and this one is much more powerful and uh, it's 45 50 knots at the moment yeah uh, our ideal course into this is beam ridge but beam ridge when you have like big waves breaking like this it's not ideal so we try to bear away a little bit we don't have that much room to play we had 41 and a half or 42 that's ice limit is at 45 not good but anyway only four or five days like this um, yeah. That's it. That's Hello Manuel! Uh, you Having fun? Uh, when are you ready? It is fun, it is fun. Um, we might need to grind a little bit on that reef too. But apart from that, I'm good. Right, that's it for your weekly dose of uh, ocean racing. Make sure that you subscribe to uh, this channel. Uh, click somewhere down there uh, under this video. Uh, click also on the small bell so you get a notification when uh, I post a new video. So you don't miss us going from wherever we are there uh, in the Southern Ocean uh, towards Fremantle uh, in Australia. And as always, uh, make sure you uh, share this uh, videos with your friends with your neighbors that are confined next to you and yeah just uh, spread the love uh, stay safe make sure you wash your hands you sneeze in your elbow and uh, and yeah stay posted <laughs>